Hi, my name is Rob Green. I'm with Premier Truck Group Mississauga and I'm the General Sales Manager. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new truck being added to the fleet here at ET Transport. This is a 2021 Cascadia. One of the greatest features that we have to offer in the trucking industry is our sleek aerodynamic lines. This truck has spent more hours in a wind tunnel than I think most drivers spend on the road. This truck here has been cut with sleek lines that make it real slippery when you're driving into a headwind to maximize fuel economy. Great thing about this hood, three piece design. It's perfect for that situation where if you do get into a bad spot and you hit something on a fender, we can replace just a fender. We're not having to replace the whole hood. Other aspects to keep in mind, big, beautiful, shiny grill with a beautiful bug deflector in behind here, or this bug screen here, it's gonna prevent debris coming in and it's gonna protect that AC condenser and charge air cooler in there from rocks and other debris. Come on down here and we're gonna take a look. This is a two piece bumper. It is replaceable from either side. We have additional license plate positions with just simply throwing in a screw into here to hold that plate in place. In, in regards to the aerodynamic design, we filled in the tow hooks. The whole point of this is keeping air from getting inside there. This is removable, plug in your tow hook in the case you ever do need a quick pull and you're gonna get out of here. One of our great upgrades in this new Cascadia model is our LED headlight designs. In our previous models, one of the things we found was we weren't able to project as much light onto the road and side of the road. This light provides drivers with better visibility in darker and low light conditions. In addition to that, we also have LED fog lights. These fog lights are bright enough to light up the sides of the road so that in a low light, low fog level light, we're gonna be able to see the ride and keep you safe. I'm gonna open up this hood and take a look underneath before we go too much further. One of the great features in here is that a driver at a glance without having to climb up on the tire can stay safely on the ground. Look at here and see that our fuel, our fuel water separator, it's not full. As that level rises, that's an indication that this filter needs to be replaced. Over here, we got our power steering fluid. Again, as you can see here, we've got a fluid line here. And over here, we can see maximum lines of fill. Now, you don't have to open it up to look inside, make a mess and it keeps from debris getting inside of the system. Up here, we've got our coolant reservoir. Again, you can see at cold level temperature, the level, and when it gets hot, it gets higher. Another great feature on this truck is our oil filters and fuel filters design. No longer pulling a filter out from the bottom, they're top design, lot cleaner while servicing. Easy reach for an oil dipstick to check your level. You're not having to climb again over the truck and make a mess of yourself or slip and hurt yourself. Another great feature on ET Transport, they go with upgraded insulated fuel lines. This is gonna give you added protection in colder climate weather. Just take a second and look up here, and we're gonna see this is our air filter. This air filter is a premium filter, almost like a HEPA filter. This thing filters out almost anything. We're gonna just go on over to the other side here and take a look at the passenger side of this engine. We have a real simple engine design. And one of the great features on this one is, take a look up here, we've got our air, air restriction valve. At this point here, you can see by that gauge how, how much debris is in that filter, plugging it up and when it needs to be replaced. A lot of easy serviceable items on this truck. As you can see, our turbo, very accessible. EGR cooler, very accessible. AC compressor, alternator, receiver dryer. You know what? air filter dryer, everything is right here at a mechanic's touch. He's not having to climb all over this thing and hurt himself either. For those fleets like ET that do their own repairs, this is why they buy this truck. Another great feature, you're taking a look right here. This is your windshield washer fluid bottle filler. Very easy to fill. You can get a jug in here at no problem at all and you're not having to have other things interfere with your way while you're trying to fill it up. We also have a sealed PDM up here. This is where we've got some breakers. As you can see, it actually has a lock on it to help seal this in with weather pack. The great idea behind this is that none of that road grime can get up in there and rot out a fuse panel. Walking down the side of the truck here, we were one of the first to actually take our side signals off of here due to wind tunnel results and tuck it in here behind the door. We still have it here and if people coming up from your side can see it, but at least it's not out here creating a, that little bit of wind drag. That air tunnel, I'll tell you, we've done a lot of great things with it. Take a look up here. One of the first things you're gonna notice is this is a breakaway mirror. A lot of our trucks on the road, 
this is a great feature because if you end up knocking it back, you get out, you put it back, and you're not broke down waiting for somebody to come and replace that mirror on you. Up here, this is a really great add-on that's been added to the new Cascadia. When we have wind and rain and debris, one of the issues in the trucking industry was that wind and rain landed on your mirror. With this little deflector on here, it keeps it off and goes straight down the vehicle and you still can see down your mirrors. Up top, as you can see, we've got an integrated sun visor mounted on this with, uh, with LED lighting. Great for visibility, plus helps block some of the sun for the driver while driving down the road. Along with this, on this particular truck, we've got side fairings that are easily removable. Down here below, we have additional fairings that have been added to these to bring it closer to the road. Again, this is all techniques coming from our wind tunnel design. On this side, we've got our side bunk compartments, both with releases from inside the cab. We've got a nice window here for letting in some light. This is great for when you need to put that bottle of coolant, antifreeze, windshield washer, DEF, chains, you name it. You've got a box mounted right here. Those dirty items stay out of the cab. In addition to this, on the back of the cab, they've mounted you up with a load lock carrier. This is such a great idea for when you're moving trailer to trailer and you can't have a dedicated trailer, you keep your load lock bars with you. You'll also see some flush mounted LED lights. These utility lights light up the back of this at night so that when you're backing up to that trailer, you got all kinds of visibility. We've wrapped these lines up, making sure that they stay together, less chances of them getting tangled with those air and electrical wires that you're gonna hook up to that trailer. You can also see on the back of this truck, right up on the back of the left cab here, we've got this condenser unit. This is cooling your heating and AC. This unit comes with the Freightliner Park Smart. This is a great option to maximize fuel economy and cut down costs for fleets and add significant driver comfort. Underneath this plate, we've got our Park Smart battery system mounted in here. These are glass mat batteries. These are the batteries that are going to run this system. It'll run up to 10 hours to cool the inside of that truck down. Coming out here, we're going to take a look at this. We've got our closed shoulder Michelin drive tires. These are upgraded options and are probably the most superior tires on the market today. You'll also notice that we have our aerodynamic dust covers that go over top of the wheels. These are easily removable just with a click of a button and a turn. Push it in, turn it, and it's off. This here helps keep debris out of there and also adds aerodynamics to the truck. They lock on, no problem. Coming across the back, we've got our stainless steel mud flap brackets along with LED lights again across the back of this truck along with a license plate. Everything is clean, wrapped, and ready to go. Great features that Freightliner has gone a long way with the new Cascadia is wrapping our electrical lines. You're not going to see exposed wire hanging all over the chassis anymore. Everything is wrapped and sealed. As we know, the new brine that's on the road today corrodes everything. Freightliner's done an excellent job of making sure that we protect these wires and keep them safe from the environment. Coming down this side, you'll also notice We've got the 24 inch extenders on this truck. They're a little bit longer than normal. And we've also got a filler cap in here that keeps road grime from coming in on the back of the truck and ending up all over the back. This here helps create wind, pushing it down the side of the truck, also reducing drag from vortexes of air across the back of the cab. On the very top, you're gonna notice we got a little wind deflector. That's gonna help shoot the air over the top of the trailer along with these real heavy duty brackets keeping these side arms really support and stiff. Up here we've got our high mount backup LED lights. These are controlled in cab and are on both sides and they create a significant amount of light when you're backing up in addition to the flush mount that are in the back of our cab. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this bunk door. We got a little pull bag handle here. Give it a little pull, out it comes. Taking a look in here, we've got our first aid kit, triangles, fire extinguisher, and a 3000 watt power inverter. You've probably noticed when you're looking at this door, we've got really big handles, easy. When you've got that glove on and you gotta reach in in the winter months to get this door open, you're not fiddling with a little handle, reach in, plenty of room. Give her open, huge wide angle door design. You're not having to 
climb in a small angle, you got plenty of room to get in here. You also got three point stepping designs and it's really easy to get up in this truck. Entering the vehicle, you're gonna see we've got upgraded leather seats. This steering wheel, it's tilted up for ease of entry. You would take this up and down as you get in and out of the vehicle to make your life a little easier. Once in the vehicle, we're gonna close the door. We're gonna talk about right here, we've got left and right power heated mirrors, power windows, power door locks. These are all great features for the driver when you're trying to back up your truck and you need to move those mirrors about. One of the things you're gonna notice when you sit in the seat is the whole dash area is made to be driver friendly. When Freightliner redeveloped this truck, they took a lot of input from drivers on the road and things they wanted to see. Easy to move knobs, very automotive style, selecting your different ranges of where you want your heat. Then you're gonna come back over to here. All of our buttons are on, then off. Easy switches, easy to push. On this truck, I'm gonna lower this wheel down. We're gonna take a look at the dash here. On this truck, we've got our oil pressure gauge, a dual needle DEF in fuel gauge, a full sweeping RPM gauge, kilometers per hour with lower secondary miles per hour, primary and secondary air gauges, and our water temperature gauge for our transmissions. As you can see here, this steering wheel is fully equipped with driver controls. We've got this here section that's gonna put us through our driver information center, which when I turn the key on, you'll get a chance to see that. And also here we've got our phone controls that we're gonna sync up to this fully equipped Bluetooth Sirius XM satellite radio that this truck has come with as well. In addition to these features, we also have up here our mounted CB. I know a lot of guys say they don't need them. When you're out on the road, it's an invaluable tool to have to know what's going on around you. We flip these here down. These sun visors, we've got some important information about when we're doing regens. We've got more information on our smart choice that we can send you with through Detroit and you, we can get you synced up on an app and you can find out more about these types of features. We've also got a mirror equipped with lights so that as you're driving and you've parked and you need to take a look, maybe you know, you're getting out of the truck and you just wanna see what your hair looks like, like I do, here's a great chance to take a look before you get out. In addition to that, we've got this here, which is called a privacy curtain. This is gonna come around the front of the vehicle when you're parked at the truck stop or wherever it is that you're parked and you're gonna be able to enjoy the whole cab in its entirety rather than being stuck with a curtain just going across your bunk. But now if you are driving team, this is an insulated cover that goes across. It's very thick and it's noise dampering. When you're walking around in this cab, you're gonna notice the amount of insulation that's put into these. I'm simply pushing down and you can see that there's a good inch or more worth of insulation into this. This is what's gonna keep the cab environment uh, clean and quiet when you're driving down the road. Now that we've looked at the front and some of these upper cabinets, I'm gonna jump in the back here and show you some of the great features in the bunk. One of the top things we've noticed when we built this truck was the amount of cabinet space we were able to create and how secure these cabinets are. As you see, when I'm shaking this cabinet, you're not hearing creaks and bangs. This is great relief for a driver driving down the road, not having to listen to that kind of nuisance noise. We're gonna open up this tall cabinet here. As you can see, you can hang things from above or at a shelf and you can put more folded stuff. We also have a little pocket here inside the door to help store stuff. In addition to that, we've got a little pull out here. When you've got to sit down and do a little bit of paperwork and you don't want to be sitting in your seat, this provides you that space to do it. Additionally, we have this little cabinet. Again, for more storage. It can be dry goods, can be clothing, can be whatever it is that you need to take with you on your trip, another spot to place it. Up above, as mentioned, we've got cabinet space, cabinet space. We got lots of cabinet space. Everything closes up nicely and easily. On this side over here, we're gonna move over to this here. It can be utilized as either a TV cabinet or a microwave cabinet, and you can mount your TV here down below. Moving down below here, we've got our refrigerator. Easily opened, lots of space, ice box area up here. These, they've done a great job adding more space in these refrigerators than they had in the past. Right here, we've got a little storage drawer. Comes all the way out. Great place to store pens and other paperwork. Just gonna take a look up here. We've got an upper bunk that folds nicely up out of the way. We've got significant amount of room up in this truck. We have upper windows that have covers to keep the light out, along with lower windows that have snap-on covers as well to keep light out. 
Up here we have to access this bunk, a collapsible telescopic ladder. It tucks away nicely and stays up here. Across here, we've got a nice big spacious bunk. We've kept these uh, mattresses rolled up to keep them fresh for ET transport. I'm gonna move one out of the way here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a couple of these dome lights so that we can get a look at what we're doing in here. These lights are fantastic. LED, as bright as bright can be. As you can see, these switches in the back of our bunk are all lit up. We have the controls for our ParkSmart system, for fan speed, along with hot and cold. We also have an alarm clock mounted back here, along with another little light that you can use while you're in the bunk. It can be moved off of here and it can provide extra light while reading or doing some paperwork back here. This ParkSmart system is gonna allow you to heat or cool the bunk in this truck without the engine running for up to 10 hours. This system runs on batteries, not diesel, has a lower environmental impact and provides a great source for driver comfort as it's quiet and you're gonna get a more restful sleep and be ready for the next day.